on Horseland when the other horses tease her about her recent weight gain. Maybe you've just gotten wider. Pepper makes the dangerous decision to starve herself. I've got to stop eating. And the results are disastrous. And you're still napping. I'm a cat. Cat napping is one of the things we do best. You should have come with us. We've been all over the Horseland Meadow checking things out. It was fun and great exercise. I get all the exercise I need chasing mice. That reminds me. What's for dinner? All that exercise has made me hungry. You're always eating, and it shows. We pigs are supposed to be nice and round. Too bad you're not a cat. We're naturally slim and sleek. Admit it, you're jealous. I am not. There's a size and shape that's right for everyone. The important thing is being healthy. And that means the right amount of food and exercise. So, let's go have lunch! You must have really missed Zoe this last couple of weeks. Zoe? Yes. But all those training rides? <laughs> Not on your life. I stayed right here in the stable and got just as many oats as you. Talk about luxury. If anyone deserves to be pampered, it's a surefire winner like me. Ha! Everyone knows Nani and I are going to win the cross-country challenge. That's our thing. Uh, you're forgetting that Zoe is the captain of the cross-country team, and that's because she rides the best horse. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, look who's back. Zoe! Glad you're feeling better. Good to have you back. <laughs> oh, I missed you, Pepper. I can't wait to get this saddle on you and go for a ride. Whoa, girl, looks like you've put on a few pounds. <gasps> I thought I could count on you, sis. You were supposed to make sure Pepper got her exercise while I was out sick. I'm sorry, Zoe. There just wasn't enough time to do everything for two horses. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll soon have you back in shape. Pepper already has a shape. Brown. Cross-country jumps won't be any problem for Scarlet, that's for sure. I hope Pepper's tummy doesn't hit the rail when she goes over. <sighs> to be ready, we've got to work even harder than I thought. You can do it, Zoe. We've still got a while till the tryout. <laughs> right. I want you and Pepper in top form when Sunburst and I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Either those fences have gotten higher, or the rails have gotten looser. Maybe you've just gotten wider. Once you lose a few pounds, you shouldn't have any problems. Or you could just use the extra weight to plow through all the obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> A nice bag of oats, Chili. You earned it. I'm really looking forward to dinner tonight. I'm afraid we have to cut back on your oats, Pepper. I spoke to the vet, and he told me just how much to give you to help you lose that weight you gained. Sorry. It wasn't my fault. How come I have to be the one to suffer? Everybody's making such a big deal about a few extra pounds. And that pitiful little bag of oats. Why, how's a horse supposed to sleep when she's still thinking about dinner? 
If I could just have a little midnight snack, maybe I'd feel better. <gasps> I'm in luck. One snack won't make any difference to getting back in shape again. Besides, everybody already thinks I'm fat. What's the use of denying myself a little nibble? What's wrong, Zoe? Pepper won't jump. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Pepper. You've made this jump a hundred times. Maybe she could float over. <laughs> She's as big as a balloon. Come on, Pep. You're embarrassing me. I don't know what's wrong with you, Pepper. It just seems like you can't do anything right lately. You're making me, I, I mean us, look bad. If you can't do any better than that, we might as well not even race. Maybe we'll do better tomorrow. <sighs> Zoe's right. It's all my fault. All because of this added weight I'm carrying. I've got to stop eating so much. No, I've got to stop eating, period. I'm going to lose this weight fast. I'm going to make Zoe proud of me again. What's up, Pepper? You're not eating, and this is a really tasty grazing. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Mmm. Tasty. Mmm. Nothing better than fresh grass. Nobody's going to make me eat. I've got too many pounds to lose if I'm going to be in shape for the tryout. Oh, but that grass sure does look yummy. Hmm. No, I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to do it. I've got to think of something to take my mind off food. Hey, I've got an idea. How about a few laps around the pasture, just to keep in training? Training isn't just about exercise, Pep. Sunburst is right. It's also about getting enough rest to let your body recuperate from the hard training you've done and eating healthy food to give you energy. Mm. Food like this delicious grass. You just want me to be fat and out of shape so you can win. If no one wants to run with me, I'll run by myself. I was just trying to help. Pepper's sensitive because she feels overweight and out of shape. She'll come around if we encourage her instead of teasing her. <sighs> I'm so tired and hungry. Are you okay, Pepper? You look worn out. Me? Worn out? No, there's nothing like a little exercise to make you feel great. Really? You looked exhausted when we left the pasture. I was just getting my second wind. I could have run for another hour. Dinner time! Hello! 
Hello, my sweet chili. <laughs> Have a nice dinner, Pepper. See you tomorrow. There's no way I'm going to regain the weight I lost with all that running. But we know and replaced her with this one. All that running before a race isn't good for her. She has to give her body time to rest and recuperate. We have to convince her to stop. Stop, Pepper. We need to talk. Uh, out of my way. I'm trying to exercise. You've been doing too much of that. We're worried about you, all of us. You're all jealous. Now that I'm getting back into shape, you're afraid that I'll make you look bad. Too much exercise is almost as bad as not enough. You won't have anything left for the tryout. You must think you've already won just because I'm an out of shape butterball. Well, not anymore. Zoe and I will be the ones going to the big race and we're going to win it too. I'll run rings around you, just like I'm doing to this pasture. Pepper, you're your normal self again. I knew you could do it, Pepper, and have I got a treat for you. A nice, juicy carrot. Come on, Pepper, you've earned it. Not hungry, girl? That's okay, you're still the best. You'll be the fastest, most beautiful horse ever. A perfect representative for Horseland. I know you're not going to let me down, Pepper. It's almost time for the tryout. It won't be much of one with me and Sunburst in it, but you'll have a good spot to watch us cross the finish line ahead of you. Only if we turn around and look back, you're forgetting who's the captain of the cross country team. That doesn't mean you'll be the fastest today. And only one horse and rider from each stable gets to go to the state finals. Don't worry about Nani's bragging. We're going to win, and I want you to look beautiful when we cross the finish line. That's funny. This is the wrong time of year for a horse to be shedding. It's almost like your hair's falling out. Time to mount up. I've got some great horse shampoo that'll take care of that after the tryout. Ready, girl? We'll show everyone who's the best horse at Horseland. Careful, Pepper. I can't win if I'm not in the saddle. Are you all right, Pep? Don't worry about me. I'm not some roly-poly pushover anymore. I'm a lean, mean racing machine. I have the honor of starting the tryouts today. So, on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> over a stream. We'll catch him. Let's go. Faster, Sunburst. Show them who's the cross-country king. Don't give up, 
Pepper. You can do it. I know you can. <sighs> what is it, Pepper? What's wrong? <sighs> Pepper, get up, girl. <sighs> oh, please, Pepper. You're just tired. <sighs> I don't know why you're so tired out. But it'll be okay. You can rest while I go for help. <sighs> Don't go anywhere. I'll be back as fast as I can. Whoa, Sunburst! Great job, Sunburst! You won! We're going to the state finals! <laughs> Fantastic ride, Nani! Well, cross country is Sunburst's specialty. No one could catch him today. Yeah. Just wait till next time. Dream on, Calypso. But where are Pepper and Zoe? What is it, Scarlet? I wonder where Zoe and Pepper are. They shouldn't be that far behind. Maybe Pepper lost a shoe or came up lame. Or maybe something else is wrong. Pepper, what's wrong? Pepper lay down on the trail in the woods and won't move. I don't know what's the matter with her. I wanted to win, but not like this. We all wanted to win, but now I just want Pepper to be all right. You take Calypso. Since our cell phones don't work out here, I'll dash back to the stable and call the vet from there. The rest of you can go help Pepper. Thanks, Molly. Oh, Pepper, why are you so tired? Pepper's going to be all right. You'll see. Molly will be here with the vet before you know it. What's taking so long? Zoe, it's only been a few minutes. What's wrong, Pepper? Don't you feel good? I'm really tired and hungry. I haven't eaten very much lately. But why? I just wanted to lose weight. I wanted to be ready for the tryout, and I didn't want you to make fun of me for being fat anymore. We didn't really mean it. We were just teasing. I know, but it still hurt. And I just wanted to lose a few pounds, but it never seemed like enough. We're sorry, Pepper. <laughs> we never thought our words would be so hurtful. The vet says you'll be as good as new soon, but you have to rest and eat to get your strength back. And he's going to come check on you every few days to make sure you're following orders. He says he thinks Pepper's hardly been eating anything, but I fed her every day. Well, if Pepper didn't eat her food, what happened to it? I wonder. That's what happened to the food. Pepper didn't eat any of it. It's like she knew I thought she needed to lose weight. And we were laughing at her. None of this would have happened if I'd kept my promise and taken good care of Pepper while you were sick. I was just so busy trying to get Chili ready for the race. I'm sorry, Zoe. We were all too busy to notice someone needed our help. Thank goodness Pepper's going to be okay. First, you rest and start eating right again. And when you're stronger, we'll give you just the right amount of exercise. Pretty soon, you'll be the healthiest horse in Horseland. It sure is great to see you back to your old self. And my old weight. It makes me tired just watching them. Maybe if you exercised a little more, Teeny. Hey. Like Shep said, there's a right size and shape for everyone, and everyone is different. Just imagine if I were as slim and sleek as you. Ugh. And what would be so wrong with that? Why, I wouldn't look like my beautiful round piggy self anymore. 
It looked like a bold cat. <laughs> <laughs> Horseland on a big adventure now